Hey y'all, it is Saturday, August 11th, and I am backing out of my driveway to go install the dining room for my client, and I'm really excited about it. I am going to record a video on the before and the after and everything for you guys. Um, I may vlog a little bit of the setup. Of, of me setting up everything but I think I have everything I have my toolbox um, my power drill picture hanging kit my step stool her mirror in the back that I purchased um, a level painters tape I think I have everything that I would need I use painters tape to put on the back of things um, that I'm hanging that has more than one hanging hook or mechanism. I put the painter's tape across it and then mark with a marker where the holes or the hangers are and then I take the painter's tape off and put it on the wall so that I know exactly where the drill and the holes. I saw that on YouTube somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm headed to her house. It is 9 Oh, 08 and I am late. I told her I'd be there by 8 but packing up the car and stuff took a little bit longer than I expected and showering and stuff like that. So um, I told her I would be there in about 45 minutes. So yeah, I am headed there now. Um, hopefully I'll be back by between 1 and 2. Yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm thinking if I get back on time and I can get a nap in because I'm really tired. Harper slept with me last night because um, I told you guys Stacey was moving and stuff. And by the time she got back home, it was late. Harper was already asleep, so she just let her stay in my room. But Harper sleeps like a kung fu ninja. So every hour or so, I woke up to reposition her because I had like a foot in my neck and all of that crap. So... Um, my sleep was kind of broken, so I probably come back and take a really much needed like nap, even if I don't fall asleep, like just relax. And then I'll hit my mom up and see if she's up to going today or even tomorrow. Um, we can go to the at home store because I really do want to see that store. So that's all that's on the agenda for right now, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, hey y'all. So it's Saturday, still August 11th. It's about 4.40. I'm leaving my friend Kiera's um, mother-in-law's house because we styled a maternity milk bath shot for her. We used an inflatable pool. I cannot wait to reveal the final photos for you guys. Like you will not believe that we used a $20 inflatable pool from Target. Like amazing. And I've done a milk bath shoot before, but we used a real bathtub and so there were so many doubters of this idea but after looking in the photographer's lens of his camera and the viewer it just looked so good and oh my goodness I can't wait to show you guys I took a before picture of the actual pool in the setup so that you guys could see the before and after but um yeah it's 4 45 I'm tired I'm gonna go home rest up a bit because I am exhausted I've been up since uh, probably about eight this morning and again i didn't sleep well last night um it's extremely hot outside so i'm drinking some water but i'm about 15 minutes from my house so just wanted to let you guys know that the photo came out amazing and i can't wait for her to see the final result she saw through the viewfinder of the photographer's camera too and she was just like screaming it was so beautiful like so beautiful so i'm excited about that um and i'll be sure to share those pictures with you once she gets them and releases them herself the shower is next weekend next sunday so i think after then it's you know it's fair game for me to post them and show you guys so I am just the creative director of the shoot and it, I must say that it came out beautifully. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey y'all, it's Sunday, August 12th. It is about 9.30 in the morning. I'm headed to my mom's house um, because we are finally making our way to the at-home store. It's a great day in Buttons Land. 
and I'm so excited. I think the store is about 45 to 50 minutes away, the closest one that we're gonna go to. It is in Dale City, Virginia, so we're gonna take a hike out there. But before we go, my mom said she made eggs, potatoes, and mini crab cakes for breakfast, so she told me to come over and get some. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm headed right now. I literally had, lady went to the bathroom in the house and she knows that it's wrong, but I don't know why she keeps doing it. So whenever she does it, she runs off and hides. So I was in the shower, open up my door to a surprise. So I clean everything up or whatever, I get dressed, it's time for us to leave, she's still hiding under my bed, in the middle of my bed. So I can't get to her from either angle and every time I go on one side of my bed and like look under it, she goes to the other side. This went on for about 10 minutes. Usually if I go downstairs and she hears me go downstairs, she'll try to follow me, but not when she thinks she's in trouble. So that didn't work. I literally had to move my bench, move my bed to get her. So I'm a little annoyed right now. Um, I'm hot and then I got all the way to the car and I forgot my glasses upstairs and I can see without my glasses but I need them for driving because um, I can't see far distances that well now so I had to run all the way back upstairs all those flights and steps um, so yeah I'm a little hot but yeah thankful my mom cooked breakfast so yeah um, then I will see you guys a little later I'll probably vlog us going into the store and a little bit of like what's in the store and stuff but I'm just literally so excited I got my small shopping purse because I have on my um, rose gold toms so I brought my rose gold bag cross my bag you can just go across me I don't need my big tote on my arm all day I don't need it taking up room in our cart I'm just ready for this experience I've been wanting to go to at home for so long and I'm super excited to be able to go I don't plan on buying much um, because again I just want that dresser I just want those two chairs I just brought that painting um, I'm hoping to go to Ross and home goods maybe um, because they're <clears throat> I told you guys I do want a second painting like that if I could find it at Ross but if not there's also a silver starburst painting that's been going around YouTube and also social media from home goods it's, it's a hundred dollars but it's a dupe for a Z gallery um, champagne colored one but of course it's silver and white so I could use that in one of the rooms as well so I'm just really excited about today guys um, so yeah yeah that is about it let's see what else did I get done I started filming a baby shower centerpiece tutorial for you guys yesterday I was painting the letters um, for Kiara's shower for one of the centerpieces she's already made one and then we made two different type of centerpieces too I didn't film that so yeah but <clears throat> I'll try to vlog as much as I can of the shower it's also the same day as my grandmother's birthday dinner um, because my grandma's birthday was today today's the 12th so today is my ex-husband's birthday and him and my grandmother were born three days apart obviously years apart too so we used to always do something combined for them like as far as dinner or whatever and then him and i would celebrate his birthday like on his birthday and then yeah so this year it's just going to be my grandma's dinner obviously um and her birthday is on the 15th of august so they're going to do it on next Sunday which is the 19th the same day as Kiara's shower but it's a dinner so it's not until 6 so hopefully I can leave the shower <clears throat> excuse me at 6 and get there at like 6 30 6 45 um yeah and she wants to have it at a seafood restaurant in Crofton that she often chooses to go to so we'll go there um, my uncle and his crew are going to be on a cruise, so they're going to be out of town. The reason why we're doing it is Sunday instead of Saturday, because of course I assumed it would be Saturday. Kiara's shower was Sunday. Perfect. No problem. My brother AJ and my sister-in-law Tia have a prior engagement that Sunday, Saturday afternoon. So that is why they made it on Sunday. So, yeah. So we'll be going there. Um, I don't know how many... I think it's just some of my cousins um, are coming, and then my parents and my siblings and stuff. Then my sister is coming in town the following weekend. Um, I told you guys I have twin sisters. 
one of them lives here at my mom's house the other one moved to florida so she's coming up um just to visit she has not met my niece yet or our niece yet so she's excited to meet her she's coming the 23rd through the 27th so i think my mom's gonna like plan a brunch or something um yeah she's gonna plan a like a family brunch so that um, my sister can see like the whole family because she only comes like every four or five months or so i don't know um so yeah that's what's going on it was actually supposed to be yesterday but she couldn't get off she couldn't get cleared to come home that soon so they cleared her for the 23rd through the 27th so i guess we're gonna have it the, that weekend that's saturday she wants a brunch but my mom's like maybe we should just do a brunch for the immediate family and then do a cookout for the extended family because that's just so much easier and you can grill some stuff outside so the guys can cook some stuff and then some stuff can be cooked inside for a brunch everything really has to be cooked inside um so it's kind of more work on the same people so i don't know we'll see what happens with that um the install went good yesterday i told you guys um the client had to spray paint the wall sconces because we brought them from hobby lobby and they were gold so she was spray painting them silver and then she hung them up and sent me pictures and everything looks great she also went to home since the store um i think they opened a columbia maryland location by her and she found the um some shears um because she wants to she wanted to put shears in between the the blue curtains that we hung or whatever um so she put those up that looks good i am gonna raise the mirror a little bit i'm going back next weekend to take the final pictures and shoot the final video clips for you guys because the wall sconces weren't up and we didn't have the, the tree that we wanted and the shears so now that all that stuff is taken care of um we are going i'm gonna come back next saturday i think to shoot that um yeah so everything turned out really really good i'm really pleased with it it looks really really nice it makes you want to have like a dinner party in there it looks so nice i did um post some clips on my social media of the space um as it was coming along not the fit and final product or anything but um probably about 80 percent done i posted and a lot of you guys i did a close-up on the curtain tie backs that we got um for that um dining area and we found those at Ross they're magnetic curtain tie backs or curtain pulls um, they're not pulls they're tie backs actually um, so I found them at Ross um, and I also found some online at Walmart that you can buy um, the exact ones we got are sold out in that color but they do come in other colors but there's also a very very similar one in silver so um, I have been sending people as they ask the links to those um, I think at Ross, they were $6.99 for a set of two. They are more expensive at Walmart. I think they're $11 or $15 for two. Um, but, you know, I'm also heavily considering getting some for my house for my formal, not my formal, but for my living room space. And also for the curtains that I put over by my um, patio doors leading out to my deck because those curtains are going to be the same as the living room since it's all open floor plan eventually so yeah and I think I would need two four six I need eight of them I need four packs um but I'm thinking about just hunting at Ross for a while and then if I can't find them then I can bite the bullet and order them online because I know now where I can find them but they are really really nice they were a good buy I've never seen them like that before um so they're really really nice I will insert a picture so that you guys can see them if you miss my Instagram stories some of you guys don't follow me on Instagram and by the way shameless plug if you don't you should if you have Instagram my Instagram handle is my house underscore my home underscore um, so you should follow me because a lot of times I'll do on the weekends not usually during the week but on the weekends I'll do insta stories and let you guys know what projects I'm working on and stuff sometimes I'll post as well but most of the time it's insta stories but you know they only stay up for 24 hours or so and I haven't quite figured out how to make them permanent not that I would make the ones that I post permanent but yeah so they stay up for 24 hours so I will post a picture in here for you guys um, for those who don't have Instagram but it is total like curtain bling goals like you would think they cost so much more and they're so so nice so yeah so that went well we're gonna move on to her living room space next 
Um, and then I have another client who I'm doing a color and flooring consultation with this week coming up. And then we're going to go room by room in her house um, as far as interior designing and decorating and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. Um, and at the same time, I'm shopping for my home. So your girl is busy here lately. Um, I've been doing, on top of that, I am... Um, working on a few other projects for family and stuff like that so your girl is busy um but i wouldn't have it any other way because i really 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 love this like i really do so yeah um i will talk to you guys later i have talked to you guys all the way to my mom's house it's been 11 minutes and i'm pulling into her neighborhood now so i'm going to eat me some breakfast and then we're going to hit the road to try to go to the at home store finally and hopefully we can go kid free i don't know Benny Bentley is at my parents' house, but I'm pretty sure he's going to try his hand at tagging along. But we're really trying to make this a kid-free trip, so wish us luck. We shall see. Bye. It's like, yeah, but are we going to be the we designated? We made it. Yeah, you are. The baby thing to this. <laughs> we made it. It's about to go down. Hey, y'all. It is Tuesday, August 14th. I'm just leaving work. It's like 6. 12. I was talking to one of my co-workers so I left a little late today. I did not get to work until 9.45 today because I was so tired. Yesterday I was off because I had Harper. I don't think I vlogged yesterday her. Um, Stacy went out of town on a, like a one day, one day overnight business trip so I kept Harper. I took off yesterday and we just ran some errands. I took her to the park. Um, we grabbed dinner and came home. She had ice cream. Then it was bath time, hair washing, we played. I got my TV mounted on my wall in my bedroom, so I'm gonna be sure to show you guys that next time I remember. Um, I also purchased, I brought that mount months ago because I honestly bought it for my living room, but I decided to use it in my bedroom because I kept, excuse me, walking past my TV on that little small accent table that it was not supposed to be on. And one day I kind of bumped up against the TV and it scared me. Like I was just like, okay, this has to go on the wall. So I finally got that hung on the wall. Um, so I have to get another mount for my living room. Um, but I got a full motion mount. So you can kind of like pull it away from the wall and, and tilt it and turn it, twist it, whichever way you want. So I really like that. Um, I also purchased a shelf that's supposed to be... It's supposed to sit on top of the flat screen TV, so you can put, I only have a small cable box up there, like, not an HD big box or whatever, because I don't watch TV in my bedroom that often. Um, so I brought a shelf that's supposed to mount onto the TV, the top of the TV, and that TV that I have in my room, I've had for years, before I even got my first townhouse, um, so i mean flat screens were they were out but they were kind of like just now coming out so they were a lot thicker than they are now and because the back of the tv is thicker than the tvs are now the shelf doesn't mount right so i can't use it so i have to send that back to amazon and get one of the um floating shelves that you know you can put on the wall under the tv or something like that i was trying to avoid it but it's okay and also because the tv is not as flat as the tv the flat screens that are coming out now it does protrude a little bit out of the wall more than i thought it would it's still not a problem but it's just not as flush as i thought it was going to be and the type of mount the full motion mount i have has that arm in the back of it so once you push it towards the wall the arm folds up but it still is going to sit further away from the wall as opposed to just the um the fixed mount that doesn't have that arm so it can, it's closer to the wall which i understand but the angle that you lay in bed i needed the the um the full motion the tilt tilt wasn't even enough in my opinion so i'm happy with that it didn't take long um, for that to be mounted i'm going to be bringing you guys um sometime this week a diy baby shower centerpiece video um, by the time you see this vlog, it probably will already be posted uh, for Kiara Shower. And then also, whew, sometime this weekend, I think, I'm going to be able to bring you the dining room makeover reveal video that I did for my client. 
because um, we are finished with that room. We're moving on to the next room and I only have to do one thing, um, raise the mirror just a little bit when I come back to do my footage and my pictures and stuff on this coming Saturday. So I'll have all the footage I need by Saturday night and hopefully I can edit and get it up to you Sunday or maybe Monday, I don't know. Um, what else did I do over the weekend? Um, I, in my Insta stories, I was at the at home store, which was amazing. I have a haul video that I need to do for you guys. I'm not a huge haul, but I have been accumulating some stuff. So I want to go ahead and do a haul video for you guys for that. Um, and that may come this week too, maybe on Saturday. I don't know, probably. Um, I'm in the hunt for some lampshades. Um, cause I bought some lamps for my room that I really, really love. I love them so much. They're so pretty. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to do a haul video. So I have content coming to you guys. I just have to buckle down and actually do finish the videos and stuff. But, um, I have everything that I need. I got the floral foam for the DIY baby shower centerpiece. So yeah, um, I'm going to work on that probably tonight a little bit. I'm sure Kira will come over or I'll go over her house because our show Love Is is coming on tonight. It's Tuesday, y'all. If y'all don't watch Love Is on the Oprah Winfrey Network, the own channel, y'all need to. It's the best show on TV right now, hands down. It's basically the show that's heavily based on the love story of Mar Braca Kill and her husband, Salima Kill, and it is good. Like, she's the writer of Girlfriends, um, The Game, and also Being Mary Jane. And I never watched Being Mary Jane, but I did watch Girlfriends a little bit, but the game was my ish. Like, I love me some Melanie and Derwin. So, if she's the writer of that, she's a winner in my book. So, yeah. Um, and apparently, everything she touches is, like, gold. So, this show is no exception to that. It's an amazing show, and I just stumbled across it. Like, seriously. I hadn't heard anything about it. Nobody was telling me about it. I was just on the own app on my phone and I just stumbled across it and at that point they had four episodes so I just binged all four and I was hooked and then I told you know Kiara about it and other people about it and then all of the advertising and marketing and stuff started happening for the show but I swear to you guys I had never heard any of this so yeah people in DC really trip me out about not letting you over like literally Ugh. they're really saving you that much time to not let people over anyway what did you guys do this weekend um what else did i do so that was sunday i went to at home store i also went to home goods it was a home goods marshall's with my mom and then we went to ross and then i got heart from stace and we kind of like you know chilled out had fun for the rest of the night um saturday what did i do I installed the dining room on Saturday and then I helped Kiara with her maternity shoot which the pictures came out amazing we did a DIY milk bath shoot and I had helped my best friend do one before but we used my mom's bathtub so it was a little different but this time we used an inflatable pool a $20 pool from Target and it, it just came out amazing. You could not tell that that's what it was in. And she's going to display some of the pictures around the shower. So I'll be sure to show them to you guys and put them in a vlog whenever she releases them. But of course, I want her to release them first. But they came out amazing. Like, you guys, I need to be a creative director. Like, seriously. So that was Saturday. And then I came home and laid down. I watched her for a little bit while Stacey finished moving out some of her stuff. And then that was Saturday I was tired guys like my body was tired yesterday um Stace got to my place really really early in the morning it was like two something in the morning um and so I ended up giving her harp and then I wa I couldn't go back to sleep so I watched the Taraji P Henson movie it's called Acrimony I think Acrimony I think so um I think that's what it's called it was pretty good the ending was like uh, blah but it was pretty good and I didn't start watching it until like 2 30 in the morning so I was up really late watching it um, 
and I didn't go to sleep until obviously it was over and then my alarm started going off hence why I didn't get to work until 9 45 but you know sometimes like once you're up you just can't get back to sleep and I thought I was just going to put the movie on and fall asleep to it but the movie was kind of crazy so like I just stayed up the whole movie and watched the whole thing <laughs> so yeah I won't be doing that tonight but my show does come on at 10 o'clock so I'm gonna watch that and then I'm gonna go to bed at 11 like seriously so yeah that was my recap of my weekend I still have not taken out my braids so hopefully this weekend coming is the shower like I said it's also my grandmother's birthday dinner her birthday is tomorrow actually so we're gonna go out to dinner a seafood restaurant that she likes to go to on Sunday because my brother and his wife have previous engagement on Saturday so we did on Sunday this year which is the same day as the shower so I'm gonna be leaving the shower and booking over to my grandmother's birthday dinner across town um, but you know that's the busy life of buttons and I've been summoned to attend her event so I told her I'll be there a little late but I'll be there um, so yeah that's what I have on the agenda for this weekend nothing too much today um, I went to Olive Garden and picked up takeout yesterday and then by the time I got home I really was not that hungry and maybe the portion size was just large but I just really was not that hungry I was tired you know you guys having a two-year-old like full-time is like tiring Not she wasn't bad or anything like that it's just like you have to stay alert you have to stay attentive and you know you have to get them out of the house and, and do stuff with them so that they you know experience get an experience and that they get tired and stuff like that and then when you get home you're still not done you can't really just kick back because they still have to be bathed they still have to you know be taken care of so I was just like oh my goodness <laughs> um so yeah um I really wasn't that hungry yesterday when I got back from Olive Garden with my stuff so I just ate a little bit put it up and then I did you know the whole bath time and stuff with her so um yeah so I'm just gonna eat that I got the braised beef tortellini I really like that I ate the salad for lunch today um so I'll eat the rest of my pasta and probably clean the kitchen and then work on filming the rest of the centerpiece videos for you guys and I'll probably have to go down to Kiara's house to get um some of the, the stars that I need for the centerpiece because it's a twinkle twinkle little star theme so yeah um I'm gonna do that and probably yeah and that's it literally that's Kiara texting me now so I'm going to continue to drive home and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.